Hello everyone, so welcome to the solution part of JE Main 2019 paper. As you all know, this year it was conducted in online mode. So here we are with the solution of mathematics paper of 9th Gen 2019 morning shift. Here is the first question. Consider the set of all lines Px plus Qy plus R equals 0 such that 3P plus 2Q plus 4R equals 0 which one of the following statements is correct. So, important thing here given to me is one set of lines is given and one constraint is given. Two options are there. One, you can rearrange by substituting any of the three in this one and get set of lines with some variable lambda or directly what you can say divide this equation by 4. Once you divide it by 4, what will happen? It changes to the form of simple like 3 by 4 p plus half q plus r equals 0. If you compare the coefficients, what is the outcome? We simply observe x is 3 by 4 and y is half. So, what is the here conclusion we are drawing? We are drawing the conclusion the lines are concurrent over here. Yes, the lines are concurrent at the point 3 by 4 comma 1 by 2. So, correct answer over here is option number 3. Let us move on to the second question of this J E main paper. 5 students of a class have an average height of 150 centimeter, variance 18 centimeter square, a new student whose height is 156 centimeter joined them. The variance in centimeter square of the height of these 6 students is a question from stats obviously calculative one. So, let us start with this question. What is the variance? Sigma square. Variance is given by summation x i square i is 1 to 5 in this first case divided by n minus sigma bar square x bar square. What is x bar? x bar is mean correct. So, let us put the data over here. We have sigma square that is 18 given in the question. Summation x i square i is from 1 to 5 divided by 5 minus x bar is given to me 150. So, it is 150 square. Now, when you simplify this result, you are going to get here summation x i square where i is 1 to 5 is equal to double 1 to 5 9 0. Correct, just simplification calculation part 150 square that is 225 double 0, right? Take it other side, multiply by 5, you get the result. Now, next it is given another student with height 156 centimeter joins them. So, let us consider this time sigma 1 square is required. This will be equal to sigma x i square this time i is from 1 to 6, 1 to 5 the same result and sixth one is 156. So, we have the result double 1 to 5 9 0 plus 156 square divided by 6 minus new mean. What is the old mean? 150 of 5 students. Another student of height 156 joined us meaning 150 into 5 plus 156 divided by 6. This is going to be new mean just square up. This is clear? Now, just simplify to get the final result here and the final result is concluded as 20. So, let us look at the given options now. Yes, we can see it is given in option number 2 as the correct answer. So, just mark it and mention it. I am sure this part is clear of stats. It was a bit calculative. Let us move on to the third question. If the fractional part of the number 2 raised to the power 403 divided by 15 is k by 15, then k is. Simply question is saying, if 2 raised to the power 403 is divided by 15, what is the remainder? So, let us begin with this question. 2 raised to the power 403 divided by 15. 2 raised to the power 403 can be written as 8 multiplied with 2 raised to the power 400 or 2 raised to the power 4 raised to the power 100. Correct. Now, 
This 2 raised to the power 4 that is 16 can further be written as 15 plus 1. So, we have here this divided by 15. So, finally writing it as 8 multiplied with 15 plus 1 raised to the power 100 whole divided by 15. Now, when you expand binomially 15 plus 1 whole to the power 100, you can see 15 is there in each term except the last which has the term 1. So, just expand it to write it as 8 multiplied with 100 c 0 into 15 to the power 100 and so on till 100 c 99 into 15 plus 100 c 100 or simply 1 divided by 15. So, when you are checking it out what is the remainder? It is simply 8 by 15. So, let us look at the given options. It is given as option number 1 k the value comes out to be 8. I am sure this part is clear. Let us move on to the next question that is question number 4.